typical aspect about robotic, but compare and uh, positive and negative or compare laparoscopic and robotic surgery. And Dr. Melnikov will speak about this topic. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, Nihao, good morning. Здравствуйте. Uh, I just need to uh, input my presentation on the desktop. Just a second. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, uh, my name is Mirnikov Pavel. I'm uh, representing uh, Moscow Cancer Center number 62, as well as Dr. Elia Chernikovsky. Uh, and um, uh, thank you for the opportunity to uh, uh, share our critical point of view on comparison between laparoscopic and robotic uh, rectal cancer surgery. Uh, I have nothing to disclose, and uh, actually in our center we don't have uh, any robotic platform, so I try to be uh, to do my best uh, to perform an honest comparison. So uh, uh, today we saw a lot of beautiful presentations uh, with some uh, historical uh, historical dive. Uh, and we all know that the first uh, million ways of era started at 1991 and continues in, uh, in uh, 1999, but the first robotic TME was performed in 2006. And uh, from that moment so far, we heard a lot of, uh, you know, half full uh, speech about that um, robotic surgery it's, it is a God invoice that God sends in the deep pelvis to help surgeons to perform a robotic surgery. And uh, a couple of years ago, uh, there was a statement from Royal College of Surgeons of England about the future of surgery, in which stated that surgery will be transformed uh, due to four groups of uh, technological developments in the next two decades, for example, genomics, uh, virtual reality, uh, orthopedics, but the majority of uh, um, developments will be due to minimal uh, invasive surgery, especially um, robotic surgery. But wait a minute, dear colleagues, when uh, we first implemented uh, the laparoscopic surgery for uh, rectal cancer, we had a lot of randomized trials that shows that uh, laparoscopic surgery is not inferiority to open techniques, but we don't have the same uh, total amount uh, trials and data uh, that uh, robotic rectal surgery in the same non-inferiority as um, uh, laparoscopic approach. So if you want to sell me that uh, technology, so uh, answer please on the question, is it robotic rectal surgery better laparoscopic in, for example, quadrative spacements in uh, MMDMs and uh, loss of staying, uh, for example, in functional results or in long term? So, uh, Let's go into the data and uh, uh, let's find out. And the first uh, randomized trial from Korea, the primary outcomes was the quality of TME. Uh, and there was no benefit in robotic approach comparative to a laparoscopic approach in the quality of TME. And as you're all known, uh, the quality of TME spacement influence on the long-term results. And the secondary, uh, secondary endpoints was uh, proximal, distal, radial, and uh, circumferential resection margins. And uh, they were equivalent to a laparoscopic uh, surgery group. 
the next uh, randomized trial, it's a roller trial. It is the biggest trial, but uh, the primary point was the conversion rate to open laparotomy. And uh, so finally, it was negative trial because uh, uh, investigators couldn't prove that uh, robotic surgery have uh, superiority to uh, laparoscopic surgery in a rectal uh, resection. And the secondary uh, endpoints was uh, uh, war, uh, the quality of spacemen and the functional results. And the same, uh, there is no any benefits in quality of uh, spacemen in uh, circumferential resection margin positive rate uh, in uh, robotic arm compared to laparoscopic. If you look at this uh, meta-analysis of seven randomized controlled trials, you can see that the first plot uh, are at the median. So uh, TME quality CRM positive patients are equivalent as uh, in a robotic group, the same is in laparoscopic group. The paper from United States, they uh, took uh, more than 7,000 patients from national cancer database. And they uh, uh, choose only uh, second and third uh, curative stage after neoadjuvant treatment, uh, excluding all palliation. And they find out that there is no any differences uh, between uh, laparoscopic and robotic uh, surgery in terms of overall survival. The same, uh, there is no differences in red mission rate, mortality rate, length of stain, the same negative composite margin rate, it's the same, uh, it's uh, like summary of uh, different distal, uh, proximal and so on, uh, <laughs> resection uh, margins rate. The only differences was in conversion rate, and uh, it was uh, near 50% much higher risk in uh, laparoscopic surgery. So uh, our intermediate result that there is no any differences in quality of spacements and uh, in long-term results. But what about functional results? Because it's very necessary if, uh, all the cancer results are similar. Maybe, maybe we could find something better in functional results. As I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, Korean randomized trial, uh, the secondary endpoint was uh, uh, functional results. And they also concluded that there is no any evidence of better defecation uh, problems in uh, a robotic arm. The same we could see uh, in Korean, another Korean meta-analysis uh, due to Wexner score, there is no differences. The global quality of life are the same, but one of the interesting uh, results that the authors find out, it's uh, the sexual function recover faster at the period of 12 months in patients after a robotic surgery. But it's very interesting if you look uh, at this slide that uh, uh, the total amount of points of sexual functions uh, became in one and a half time much more than it was pre-operatively. Uh, pre so anyway, that would explain another fact that uh, the patient after a robotic surgery uh, suffer from insomnia much higher uh, than the patient after uh, laparoscopic surgery. Uh, another prospective trial from uh, China, uh, it's, it's one of the trials that uh, uh, find out that uh, laparoscopic surgery is one of the major cause of uh, uh, sexual dysfunction after rectal surgery, and they have, uh, they have uh, significant higher uh, postoperative erectile uh, sexual uh, dysfunction and uh, overall 
uh, urinary dysfunction after laparoscopic surgery. And uh, uh, finally, uh, meta-analysis from uh, China. Uh, they include near 16 uh, different trials, but it was uh, it were uh, non-randomized comparative uh, retrospective or prospective trials. And uh, they find out that uh, uh, that the risk of functional disorders uh, was higher in a laparoscopic group. So uh, the results uh, were better in patients after robotic surgery. So another intermediate result that uh, probably you could uh, improve functional results uh, in some cases, in some selected cases, maybe in Asian uh, surgery, uh, but uh, we don't have enough data. And what about morbidity and mortality rate? Uh, if we look at the majority of the trials, we don't have any suggestion that mortality and morbidity rate could have some significant differences. Uh, as in that uh, uh, meta-analysis of seven randomized controlled trial that I uh, show uh, earlier. The same in randomized uh, roller trial, absolutely equivalent post-operative and perioperative complication rate. But the only uh, paper in which you could find significant improvement in post-operative uh, complications uh, was the uh, trial from uh, paper from uh, China, in which I uh, remind you uh, were 16 uh, trials with bad quality. So uh, uh, let's move on. As you all know, the cost more expensive, uh, not because only you should uh, buy this platform, you should support this platform, you have only one, um, uh, only one buyer on the market, only one company, Intuitive Technologies. So you could decrease uh, the rate of expenses uh, by the decreasing the rate of uh, conversions. But till that time, the still you have the differences, significant differences in um, payment. But where is the bias? When we talk about uh, comparison between two-dimensional visualization of uh, laparoscopic surgery, the majority of trials uh, who compared was uh, in two-dimensional uh, visualization with 3D visualization of robotic surgery, it's not fair. It's not fair to be honest, because if you look at the trial that compared 2D versus 3D laparoscopic TME, they achieve a higher, a better rate of uh, uh, TME spacement and the risk of the uh, bad uh, quality of TME was higher on near 25% comparing uh, with the 3D uh, laparoscopic visualization. So if you use 3D visualization in laparoscopic surgery, you could uh, signific uh, significant uh, fever uh, patients uh, uh, with serum positive uh, margin rate. So maybe this is not all, uh, or not there because we don't have enough data and we have a lot of trials that ongoing. Uh, now we have uh, a new robotic platform as Professor G shows us uh, previously. So this is not the end. This is only the beginning of uh, robotic era. So what uh, we have now when, when we compare the state of the art um, uh, lab versus uh, robotic surgery. Yes, in robotic uh, surgery, you have shorter learning curve, but you don't have any benefits in quality of spacements, in cancer results, in morbidity and mortality, in length of uh, staying. Maybe you could have less conversions. Uh, uh, probably you could have a better functional results, uh, especially sexual function uh, in patients after robotic surgery, but we, we need more data. Uh, you have more expensive uh, uh, technique. 
and uh, maybe new robotic system with uh, virtual or added or mixed reality with artificial intelligence uh, may lead uh, that uh, robotic uh, approach uh, will be superior than traditional laparoscopic uh, surgery. And let me remind you uh, this paper from uh, Oxford and Yale and uh, which investigators shows us that in next 40 years, uh, artificial intelligence and robotic system could achieve human performance uh, in surgical understanding of uh, procedures and could uh, perform uh, some kind of procedures by itself autonomously. So maybe someday uh, our department will look like uh, this uh, picture. So uh, and Dunk, thank you, CC. Uh, hope someday, uh, and I'm sure that someday we will meet offline face-to-face uh, as it was uh, previously. Thank you. Uh, Pavel, uh, in conclusion, uh, according to your point of view, now we have more benefits for surgeon, not for patient. And if we speak about... Uh, uh, we don't have enough data supporting... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't have enough data supporting um, uh, uh, any benefits, excluding in some um, trials with bad quality about conversion and sexual function. Everything is equivalent, but maybe, maybe, um, uh, Maybe if you perform a good quality of randomized trial who compares 3D laparoscopic with experienced surgeon and 3D uh, robotic uh, approach, maybe you could nivelize uh, the differences in functional and sexual results and conversion rate will be the same. But uh, anyway, uh, in close time, what according to you view, better to improve uh, laparoscopic instruments to um, that they became closer to robotic or to use plat robotic platform to improve the intellectual part of this platform? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting question because uh, nowadays we have on the market uh, different uh, instruments that uh, put your uh, four degree of freedom of uh, manipulation in laparoscopy in seven degree of freedom as in uh, uh, robotic uh, approach. Uh, you have a better view, 4K, 3D. Uh, you have uh, different, uh, you know, magnetic uh, retractors in uh, laparoscopy also. So. The, the differences for the, for the surgeons could be less. But uh, I do believe, uh, you know, we are living in the, the capitalistic world uh, and the market of uh, robotic platforms grows faster than uh, the market of uh, uh, traditional laparoscopy, uh, laparoscopic uh, devices and so on. So, I do believe that in near future, uh, we will see um, in growth uh, rates of uh, robotic platforms and uh, um, slightly decreasing rate of uh, traditional laparoscopy. Just because of uh, technology will be cheaper, uh, the cost for supporting the devices will be cheaper, and uh, in case of robotic uh, platform, there will be another different, you know, uh, useful things uh, like interoperative navigation, um, uh, artificial intelligence, and so on and so on. So the future for the robotic, but nowadays we don't have any differences according mm -hmm. to the data. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you very much. And uh, we should move on. And uh, last presentation from... Hmm? Ah, ah, okay. Sorry, uh, Aristotle, yeah, yeah. You, you can ask Aristotle. I don't, I don't want to steal your time, but uh, I have to thank you for your excellent presentation. We showed uh, almost the same meta-analysis, and uh, we have see, we have to 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 indicate how is the glass is the is the glass half empty or half full? Because you said also uh, the laparoscopic rectal surgery uh, was based on non-inferiority. Um, uh, uh, clinical trials and therefore you can see also a positive matter for the robotic surgery and the other one about the conversions i mean the the, the most the most um, uh, helpful impact by the robotic surgery is the damage control and the troubleshooting that's that's the most important tool in our in our hands um i i don't i i i, I wouldn't ex, um uh, expect any uh, superiority as far as oncological results are, uh, are concerned because you have a tme percentage of 90% or a, a, a zero rejection of 95% and uh, therefore you you wouldn't uh, uh, have a statistical difference you know uh, what do you think about the troubleshooting by 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 means of robotic surgery. I think that's much more better than, than laparoscopy. What do you think about it? Uh, you know, uh, every, every question is very interesting uh, when you need sometimes to think. Uh, but this question is very interesting. Uh, you know, we are surgeons. Uh, from one side, we are uh, working by our hands. But other side, uh, we're scientists, uh, and we should, you know, uh, make our decision making according to the data. But when you are in the operating room and you, when you have some troubles, uh, you don't think about the data. You know, you should uh, shoot the troubles uh, and solve the, the problems uh, in the operation room. Uh, I don't have an experience uh, in robotic uh, surgery. I uh, perform near 95% uh, of all my uh, procedures by laparoscopically. Uh, and uh, once upon a time uh, in Korea, uh, in one of the summit, uh, I heard uh, a beautiful phrase, the problem that will be uh, difficult for laparoscopy will be difficult for robotic and for the tatmi the same hard deep pelvis it's a hard surgery and it will be hard uh, for uh, for every approach will it be transcendental TME, robotic uh, approach or uh, laparoscopic so i don't think that uh, you know we have one magnificent uh, tool that helps us uh, to solve all the problems. And we don't have data that uh, supports it, uh, that, uh, you know, uh, supports that conclusion. So I, I believe that the operator of the robotic uh, um, console is much important Will it be a lab or will it be uh, robotic uh, approaches? Yes, thank you very much, Pavel, for your presentation and the answer to Aristoteles. I think we have to move on uh, to the next speaker. I'm sorry for oh, that. Aristoteles. <laughs> uh, the next presentation uh, from